everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a bit of an interesting one. I recently uh, forked out and did a little bit of an impulse buy that uh, I'm probably going to regret later. <laughs> but aren't these beautiful? Now this is a set of Prismacolor Premier Pencils, my pencil of choice. And this is a 150 pack. So basically I have every single color of Prismacolor Premiers now and uh, yeah, that's a lot of pencils. Now my first ever set of Prismacolor Premiers was a 36 pack of pencils and I actually have them here today. Now most of them are pretty much a few centimeters long as you've probably seen in some of my previous videos and uh, most of the original pencils from that pack are long gone and I just like replaced a pencil here and there whenever I would uh, you know run out. But it started to get a little bit annoying because to be honest I have so many pencils that are low now so I'd have to buy all of these pencils individually to replace them and you know 36 is pretty good but I could do with a little bit more color options so you know impulsive me I ended up just going with the biggest and most expensive packet of pencils and yeah I guess I'm swatching them today. I'll admit, I went a little bit overboard. I probably could have got, you know, a few sizes down, but uh, I just looked at this beautiful giant pack, like, <laughs> at the store, and I was just like, I need it. I'm not exactly proud of my purchase. It was over $200 that I just, you know, threw at art supplies. <laughs> but, you know, it's going to be great. So uh, you guys know how much I love to swatch things, right? I, It's one of my favorite things to do when I get a new uh, art supply uh, or even just a previous art supply that I've owned, but you know, brand new colors. I just have to swatch it out. And I was thinking that it would be so satisfying to swatch every single color of Prismacolor Premier pencils because technically I own every single color now. <laughs> That's pretty crazy to say, to be honest. Like, I know uh, Copic do have a whole lot more colors in their markers than Prismacolor has in their pencils, but this is a lot of pencils, especially for someone who doesn't, like, you know, just do purely pencil art. And that's probably why this is probably a bad purchase for me, but I love them. <laughs> and you know me, I always end up spending a lot of money on uh, unnecessary art supplies. It's a bit of a problem. But look at all of these beautiful colors though. Like I absolutely love the magenta and the processed red and the pomegranate and the mulberry. Now I'm just pretty much just naming all of these colors, aren't they? But look at them, they're so beautiful. Now I know I'm pretty much going to get some comments here and there saying that uh, Prismacolor Premier pencils are bad. And you know, I think that's a matter of opinion. I actually really love the softness of the Prismacolor pencils. Now I know that does make them uh, more prone to breakage and that's the biggest complaint, uh, you know, for <laughs> a lot of artists is that the uh, pencils break a lot. And uh, well, the pencil lead, not the actual pencil, I don't think, because that would be outrageous. <laughs> but um, what I find best for that is actually to use a rotary sharpener. I actually have a Derwent one and it is pretty good and wasn't too expensive. And that does prevent pretty much all of the breakage of the pencil leads. It's quite rare for me. And uh, I thought I would just mention that because not everyone knows that, that a rotary pencil sharpener is, uh, you know, I think better for that. I just really love how soft the uh, cores are. I love how smooth they are and I feel like they're softer than any of the other expensive pencil types I have tried. I have tried the um, Faber-Castell Polychromos and I think they are pretty nice and they're pretty good quality but I just really love my Prisma colors. <laughs> I don't think I could replace them with anything else. And with this pack, I find it very, very nice that they have a huge range of different tones. Uh, this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just started to sound like a, a sponsored <laughs> video, but it's definitely not sponsored. I paid for this myself, regrettably. <laughs> and um, I just love how dark some of the tones are and how deep they are. But we also have a lot of soft pastel colors as well as some really nice vibrant colors and I'm actually really liking the muted colors as well. I find that um, with most pencil, like colored pencil uh, packs, you will get a lot of mid-tones and you will get a lot of really saturated colors. 
but you won't really get uh, many less common colors like um, like pastels and really soft muted colors and earthy tones as well and I actually really like that they have that in there because for me honestly mixing colors especially with colored pencils is a huge pain it never looks as you know soft and um you know like bright or not not bright just solid as you know if you're just getting a normal pencil versus mixing the colors if that makes sense at all I don't know how I said that but a few of the colors I have found to be some of my favorites even just by you know swatching them out and just seeing what they look like down on the paper would have to be um, the electric blue that does look very very nice as well as uh, what was it? It was uh, Process Red, which is more of like a really nice pinky red color. And I really, really loved uh, some of the purples as well. Pretty much all the purples. I'm a huge purple person. I absolutely love the color purple. It is my favorite color. And the teals are super nice too when, you know, I'm actually coloring them on the on the screen <laughs> and not accidentally going out of frame you will see that the aquamarine and the cobalt turquoise and even the light green and parrot green they are just some really really nice tones of uh, teal I really love teal colors because it's just a really really nice color and I love to include that kind of thing in my art and the gray green light you can barely see it on the page there but it is so light and so pastel uh, toned and I actually have a few ideas for uh, what I could draw with that colored pencil it's pretty strange though you'd think that a colored pencil that you don't really see too much on the paper is actually going to be quite useful especially when you mix uh, medias and you layer different colors over the top of each other you can get some really cool tones now as you can see unfortunately I accidentally put the wrong color there and uh, that was pretty <laughs> I was pretty stressed out I was like oh no I ruined this satisfying swatch sheet but thankfully my eraser picked it up mostly and the color that was supposed to be there was actually a quite like nice and opaque pencil so it ended up going over there really nicely and I still got the proper color to go in that spot so yeah I dodged a bullet I guess one thing I'll note is one of my pencils doesn't have any text or label on it and that is quite strange <laughs> but I've pretty much figured out which pencil it was because uh, I couldn't find the color for that one and these pencils are actually quite in order for the um, swatch sheet that I actually printed out this one was actually pretty much in order mostly except for the neon colors which were in the packet sort of spread around with their color groups but in this sheet they were actually all at the end so yeah, if you're wondering what uh, sheet I actually printed out, I'll put a link on to in the description for what thing I printed out. And I actually decided to print it on some um, medium uh, watercolor paper, mainly because I wanted a nice tooth of paper to do these swatches on so it would grab the color really nicely. And I wanted something with some nice thick uh, paper as well so that it would last a long time and not get you know accidentally scrunched up or creased or anything and watercolor is pretty great for that and it's pretty durable because it is made of cotton instead of wood fibers one thing I really like as well is the nice range of grays that you actually get most colored pencil sets you'll get a few grays but that's pretty much it but we do have a nice big variety of grays here and not just any grays as well we have some warm grays and then cool grays and then a few other gray colors as well but I actually really like how they labeled the darkness they gave it a percentage which is actually pretty cool because you know exactly how dark or how light these grays are and I really have to say that I I absolutely love the French grays as you'll see that I will soon be coloring in I don't know why I just find them really really pretty they are similar to the warm grays but they just have a different hue to them that I really like I don't know why they're just so pretty look at them we also have another gray here which is slate gray and that is a really cold uh, cool bluish kind of gray color and you'll see that I will color that in after I do all of the French grays and uh, yeah it's a really nice bluey sort of gray color I don't know if it really belongs with the grays it's kind of just like a grayish blue 
but there you go after that we also have white and then we have a few metallics here which i have already used in my older set <laughs> but the metallics are really pretty and i like them and we also have these gorgeous neon colors they are so bright it's like a highlighter in a pencil i i've never seen a pencil so vivid before but they're pretty and I really like them and I have no idea how I'm going to incorporate them into my art but any ideas for that would be well appreciated. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this interesting video. Please let me know below what you thought because this isn't the normal sort of content that I create. I have swatched in the past quite a while ago uh, but that was more like a, a an art haul and swatch video if that makes sense. This is purely just swatching every single color of Prismacolor Premieres. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please hit that like and the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you in my next video for some more art. Thanks everyone. See ya.